Hello. In today's video, we're going to explore a new function in Power BI called as combined values function. Let us go to the Microsoft documentation page and then review the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. So here's the definition in the syntax. The combined values function joins two or more text strings into one text string. The primary purpose of this function is to support multi-column relationships in direct query models. So here is the syntax. Combined values, the delimiter, and the expression. So basically it takes two parameter delimiter and expression. And if you have more than one expression, uh, we can use it. In our case, we'll be using a column as a reference here. And basically the objective of this particular function is, is useful in data modeling, especially in direct query models. So let's try to experiment this in a live query and then see what we get out of it, okay? So I have uh, a sample data set loaded in this PBI. So I have two tables here, sales order and sales quantity price. So now if you look into this table, we have something called sales order ID. And this is not, the values in this column is not unique. There might be one sales order ID with, which is repeated two times or more than two times because there might be more than y, one items. There might be, let's say, if you have a sales order of one, there might be two items, one and two. So it looks something like this. If I go to the reports here, as you can see, this particular sales order, 774, is repeated twice. It has item number one and item number two and also the product ID 836 and 822. It's a different products, right? The customer has ordered two products. Uh, the product ID is 836 and 822. And now if I go to the other table, sales quantity price, this table also will have the same structure. So the sales order ID would have been repeated two times and you, you, you might have two item numbers, item number one and item number two. So if I now try to create a relationship to these tables, because it's a direct query, if you look the property here, the storage mode, mode, it's a direct query, both of the tables. So now if I try to create a relationship between uh, sales order ID and sales order with these two tables, it throws some error because there is multiple, many to many relationship. So what I can do is uh, I need to create a, unique column for each of those tables and then use that column to create a proper relationship. So how do, do I do that? So I go to this table here and then create a new column. And let me name this column as uh, SO key, sales order key equal to, then use the combined value function. So it asks for a delimiter, let me use the pipe and then uh, the first column sales order id and then use the second column let's uh, use the item number okay so i created the first column uh, sorry the first key and now let me do the same thing for the second table call this table as sq Call this column as SQ key, combine values. And again, I'll use the same delimiter pipe and then use the same column sales order ID with item number. So now I have two columns, SO key and SQ key. So now I haven't established any relationship between these two tables here. So now let's see what happens if I drag this here, the line total. Let me bring this here. So you see the numbers are incorrect because still I don't have any relationship between these two tables. So now what I'll do is go to the model here. And now let me create a relationship between SO key with SQ key. Okay. 
So I want, this is a one to many relationship. So one to many. And I don't want both because if I apply both on a large data set, it becomes extremely slow. So single, make this relationship active. Click on OK. OK, so now what happens is I have this in my table here. If I go to the reports, you see the numbers changed because now it's there is a proper relationship between these two tables. So I have the sales order. Uh, I have it's repeated twice because item numbers are repeated twice, one and two, and we have the key for this. And product ID, it's coming from the same table. So 836 and 822. And the line total, which is coming from the stable sales quantity and price. So line total. So I can even get the order quantity as well here. Okay. So now you can see I'm getting the right output. So the main objective of the combined value function is to use in the data modeling. We can still use this function like a concatenate function in our measures, but I would still use the concatenate function in my measures and keep this result. How, especially for data modeling, especially when we deal with our live queries. Okay. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, just drop me a note in the comment section. And then if you think I need to improve something, just make mention that one as well so that I can improve on my later videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.